What is going on, everybody? Welcome to what is a very, very, very special stream for a couple of reasons. One, we're going to be opening up some brand new Time Spiral Remastered today. I could not be more excited. This set looks amazing, and there are a lot of really, really powerful, not only just reprints in this set from the actual set itself, but the Time Shifted cards look amazing as well. One in every single pack, so I'm hoping for some really good pulls there as well. Uh, I do want to mention, before we jump into this, we are opening two, both of which are Sponsored by Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. They are our local game store. Fantastic group of people. Very, very helpful to us and to everybody in the community. They have uh, really been supporting our channel for quite a while. Uh, and so I could not be more thankful. So thank you to them. Josh over there, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, as well as Sean and everybody else working there. I really appreciate it. So guys, thank you. And uh, yeah, we're going to jump in. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I do want to mention, if you want to pick up a, a box of your own Time Spiral Remastered, we are giving one away. Uh, we have the details for that on our website. You have five ways to enter. You don't have to enter in all five ways. You can just enter in one. But uh, it's really easy to enter, and there, like I said, five different entries makes it really, really easy. Now, one thing I do have to mention before we jump into this as well, we have been having issues with the stream. I know we've been having issues with the stream. We probably will continue to do that. I'll do the best I can not to skip over anything, and we'll do a recap of each box hopefully at the end. Uh, and then that way we can at least see if we do miss out on anything. I'll try and reboot the stream and get us up as soon as we can, but just want to let you know that can happen. So let's jump in guys we like i said have two boxes here really really happy let's push one to the side and let's go ahead and open the first box i'm so excited a friend of mine uh over on twitter and also in our local area picked up a box uh and was sharing some pulls with me and my goodness did he get just absolutely lucky his pulls were amazing uh frankly they were really really good uh so i'm hoping to get that same kind of luck today but we'll see. We will see. Uh, let's push this to the side and let's do this here. Man, I, I'm already excited. I loved Time Spiral. I know a lot of people love Time Spiral for some very good reasons, in my opinion. It was just a really good set. Uh, and so I'm hoping that we can get some good stuff today. Grape Shot. Ooh, I like that. Uh, hold on. Let's make sure stream didn't go down. Let's just see. Uh, I really hope it didn't. Come on now. Think we're good? Yeah, okay. Uh, Dark Withering, Green Seeker. What are we hunting? We're not hunting today, Don. Don, I really appreciate you being here. We're actually just here for fun. We are just opening up two boxes. Thanks to Grand Slam, we really appreciate their support. First Uncommon is Crows and Grip. We've got Bonded Fetch, Clockwork Hydra. I remember when this card came out. Hey, Aaron, Aaron, Ernites? I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, Mangara of the Cor Corridor. Not a bad first rare. Pretty happy with that. And an Ajani's Pride Mate as our time shifted card. I like that. And our foil is Muck Drub. <laughs> what a fun card. Uh, all right. So, first pack is down. Not the most amazing pack in the world, but I do love that old school art on, uh, on the Ajani's Pride Mate. Guys, how are we doing today? What is new with you? Don, how are you doing? Ernites, I hope you are doing well. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I don't believe I've seen you in the stream before, so I do appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoy the opening. Uh, sponsored, like I said, by Grand Slam. Doing great. How about... Uh, I am doing fantastic. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. I really appreciate you uh, coming to hang out with us. Spellburst. Calciderm. Love Calciderm. Such a funny card. Paradise Plume. And our rare... Ooh, Felon of Havenwood. I actually really, really like this card. This is a pretty cool one for that Spore deck. Uh, wow, and a Lingering Souls. Look at that old school frame. I love that. And then a Goblin token. Uh, so I wasn't sure. It looks like obviously there's not a foil in every pack, but there is that time shifted card in every pack, which is just so cool. I love the time shifted frame. I just think it's amazing. Uh, let's get through Assassinate Search for Tomorrow. I love the new art on Search for Tomorrow. I think that's very, very good. Uh, Momentary Blink, such a great card. Massive Ghouls, the Ancient. Uh, Minions Murmurs is our first uncommon. Brine Elemental, I do remember that card. Harmonize, ooh, I love Harmonize. Such a cool card. And our rare, ooh, Teleria West. What a cool card with that transmute ability. Absolutely love it. And a Courser of Crufix in that old school frame. Look at that, guys. Man, what an amazing, amazing time. Oh, I love these cards. I love these cards so much. Uh, all right. 
next pack. Like I said, we do have two boxes, so stick around. We've got plenty of packs to open. Uh, I do want to get your thoughts. What's your favorite card, says Urnites? I've got a lot. Uh, in the set, I'm assuming is what you mean. There's a lot in there. I really want an, uh, a true name nemesis uh, in that old school frame. I think that would be a really fantastic pickup. Ooh, Perfery Nodes. Not a bad rare. And Leveler. What a cool card. What a very interesting card, to say the least. Ooh, and a time-shifted Read the Bones foil. Look at that. Look at that. Guys, such a great start to this box. I'm really, really excited. Uh, Ernites, what's your favorite card out of the set? Just out of curiosity. Um, I am... There's a lot to choose from, I'll be honest, but I'm in this 100% for the time-shifted cards. I do love just the set itself is very good. There's a lot of great stuff in it. Uh, we've already seen some of that great stuff so far, but uh, to be honest, I'm really here for those time-shifted cards. Those old-school frames just oh, make me so happy. Our first mythic is Wheel of Fate. Not a super exciting mythic, if I'm honest. Uh, it's kind of a suspended Wheel of Fortune. And we have Talrand Sky Summoner, a very, very cool commander card, so happy to pull that. Um, not a great mythic, I'll be honest, I'm not super stoked with that. Uh, Ernite says, I've never actually seen the set. Well, it just came out, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of great stuff in it, though, I will say. Uh, really, really great stuff, so let's see... Let's get through these commons and uncommons. Gonna try and quickly go through the commons and uncommons. We've been through them before, or not, we haven't been through them before, but obviously we've seen these cards before. Angel of Salvation is our rare, and ooh, yes, Dreadhorde Arcanist. Oh, such a good hit. I love Dreadhorde Arcanist. I love it. I don't know the value of it, but I'm just so happy to have it. Uh, but my favorite card is of all time is Vraska Planeswalker I got in 2018. Which Vraska was that? Was that Ixalan or Knights? I believe that would have been that time period. I might be wrong. Um, my favorite card of all time is, uh, Elishnorn. Uh, I love Elishnorn. It's very outside of character for me. Uh, I hate white. I really hate white. Um, but, uh, it's a very, very, very fun card, obviously. Draining Welk is our rare. And a Containment Priest as our time-shifted card. No foil in that pack, but that's okay. Uh, so yeah, Elishorn is mine. I, it just is such a fun card. I love it. I wish, and I don't think we did, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and say we did not get a time-shifted Elishorn. That would have been a really cool card, though. Um, my, my, my card of choice, if I could pick up any card today, uh, it would be the Phyrexian uh, version of Elishorn. Belenish Commander with a Paradoxical Outcome. I actually really like Paradoxical Outcome, so I'm very happy to get this. It works great in the Artifact deck, uh, so I'm very happy to have that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be my favorite one. I think that's it. And you did say it is the Ixalan Vraska. Ixalan Vraska was pretty good. Six mana, whoops, 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 whoops. Six mana Planeswalker, so a little expensive, but uh, obviously worthwhile. I mean, some great effects on it. I've played it in cube. Uh, and I did play it a little during Ixalan, obviously, but um, other than that, it's not uh, high on my list, but that's okay. Rada, Heir to Keld, love that card. And a Lavinia, time shifted. I love this old school, just mucky border. I think that's so fun. Uh, let's get some of these cards out of the way. There we go. All right. And we're back. And we're back. Uh, <laughs> I do want to mention as well, stay tuned because tomorrow on here... Uh, on Twitch, I should say. Uh, we will be doing our card hunt for uh, our Vorinclex in the Kaldheim booster. Uh, we have got, whoops, we have got a collector's booster, uh, as well as a couple of pre-release kits that we're going to go through and hopefully find one. Ooh, Gemstone Caverns. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad as a second mythic. Ooh, and a young Pyromancer. Wow. Uh, yes, absolutely fantastic pack. Love that. Gemstone Caverns is a very good card, uh, in my opinion. And then addition, uh, Young Pyromancer is quite good. Killer Scissor Knights, I love it. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with us. Uh, I know we had the stream go down there for a second. Uh, Ur Knights, if you can give me a quick heads up and just let me know that we are back up, I really do appreciate it. Just to recap very, very quickly, uh, at the end of last pack, we did have High Arcanist and then Primeval Titan as well as our time-shifted card. Primeval Titan, an amazing pickup. Super, super happy to have that. Uh, if you're watching over on YouTube, we should have just spliced this whole thing together. Uh, I do apologize. 
Um, we've been having some incredibly bad network issues as of late and uh, over the last couple weeks. And unfortunately, it's been a struggle to get our ISP out here to do anything about it. So that's where we're at. Pact of Negation. Fantastic, fantastic pickup. And then a Rakdos Charm. Not bad. I think we have a foil here as well. A foil Perfury Nodes. I'm pretty happy with that. That's not a bad pack at all. Uh, foil Rare with Rakdos Charm time shifted. That's pretty good. Uh, not too hap or not too shabby at all. And then Pact of Negation, obviously very, very good as well. Uh, let's keep going. We got so many packs to open. Alex, what is up, buddy? Alex, uh, if you could do me a huge favor and just keep me posted if we do have the, uh, the stream drop out and that kind of thing, I do appreciate it. Even Mind Sensor there. And our rare is Swarm Yard. Not a bad one. And then, ooh, a Knight of the Reliquary. Ugh, oh, love Knight. Love, love, love Knight of the Reliquary. Such a great pickup. Thank you, Alex. Really appreciate you, buddy. Um, how are you doing today, Alex? What's new with you? What is new with you? Uh, as we open up these amazing packs. I have I absolutely love uh, sets like this where it just feels like there's so much value in every pack. Uh, I think adding those time-shifted cards really, really push that over the edge. Uh, Kiwi, what's up, man? Uh, Fellow Knight Hermit, that's fine. And then a Teamer Ascendancy. Ooh, that is going straight into my Maelstrom Wanderer deck. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Kunai, how are you doing today, buddy? How are you? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. I don't believe I've seen you here before, so welcome. If I've missed you, I apologize. Uh, that is, of course, on me, but I'm very happy to have you. Uh, Washer Sliver, Infiltrator. Love an Infiltrator, actually. Limp Sliver, lots of Sliver. Uh, submitting my decks for Barchiza and taking and talking to the tourney organizers. I love it. Arcblade. A Dryad Arbor, not bad. I've actually was looking into picking some of these up, so I'm very glad we got some. And a Vampire Hex Mage for that Dark Depths combo. Love that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Alex also doing some D&D stuff. How's your campaign going, buddy? Uh, Kiwi saying, I'm good. How are the packs going? Nah, first time being able to catch the stream. Kiwi, thank you then for checking it out. I really do appreciate it. We're doing very well so far. We have gotten some decent pickups. Uh, really just happy to have these amazing time-shifted cards. Honestly, that's kind of why I love this set. Uh, along with just the power in the main set, this is just a fun one to open. Coalition Relic, a fantastic card as well. Oh, there it is! I said at the beginning one of the cards I wanted to pull was a, uh, time-shifted Thoughtseize, and we did it, guys. Look at that beautiful, beautiful card with the OG art. So nice. And then a Foil Phantom Worm. Uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, yeah, dude, Thoughtseize, OG art, and in time shifted frame, that just feels right. It just feels right, you know? Uh, for C, Reflex Sliver, Deep Cavern Imp, Thalid Germinator, Manitive, very cool card. Chromatic Star, not a bad one, Transmuter, Blade of the Sixth Pride, Knight of the Holy Nimbus, Conflagrate, great in the, uh, the, uh, Dredge deck. Uh, Lanawar Mentor, a sudden spoiling with that split second mechanic. Very interesting. And a Nature's Claim. Uh, I actually really like Nature's Claim. It's a very underwhelming card but to pull, but it's very good. Keldon Helbert Birdier. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I have no idea. Um, but man, what a fun time. We do have a full other box of this, and we're, we're about halfway through, I think, this one. So we've still got quite a bit to open. Uh, <clears throat> very, very excited. It's so great seeing all these old school cards again. I did play. I don't know if anybody else did here, but I did play during Original Time Spiral, and I loved it. Life and Limb. And then, it, oh, Exquisite Firecraft. Look at that. Look at that art. That is just beautiful. A Foil Rigid Kusite. I hope I'm saying that correctly as well. Uh, I have no idea. Um, but, man... I just, I love seeing these old, these cards in the, the, the time-shifted frame. It just makes it feel, I don't know, something really special about it. I feel Thought Seizes are going to get snatched up quick. I think you are exactly right, Alex. I think uh, <clears throat> there are certain cards in this time-shifted frame that I just think are going to be bought up like crazy. Thought Seize is absolutely one of them. Dark Heart Sliver, Aeon Chronicler. I had the, uh, the theme deck around this card back in the day. I loved it. Ooh, and... Pro oh! Oh, Jun players, eat your heart out. Bloodbraid Elf, look at that. That is just so cool. So, so cool. Uh, also, my D&D game is going well. Today's game, I'm actually playing uh, for a player for once. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Um, that's really cool. Yeah, you usually DM, do you not, Alex? Uh, if I'm not mistaken. 
We need to get a D and D game together. I need to try it again. I've I've tried it a couple times and I just cannot get behind it. It's not a game that I've really enjoyed before, but uh, I know that's kind of blasphemous, so I'm down to try it. Greater Gargadon is our rare, not very exciting. Ooh, and Kiki Jiki, look at that OG Kiki art and that beautiful time shifted frame. Oh, all right, <clears throat> let's get this little stack out of here since we've got stuff piling up slightly. Um, man, what a great box so far. This is just fantastic. I am loving, loving, loving opening up this time sh spiral remastered stuff. Absolutely cool. Uh, man, so tell me, tell me, Alex, tell me about your campaign. Tell me. I would love to know. Muckdrub, Sudden Shock, and our rare... Ah, oh, Carvac. If you didn't look at or watch the latest Game Nights episode, Carvac was in it. Uh, and oh, Panharmonicon. Very, very good. Just so many cool cards. <clears throat> All right. Let's get there. We are getting down to close-ish to the end of this box. We've got a little ways to go yet, uh, but we're we're missing a couple mythics. We need to pick up a mythic or two, I think, here. We're, we've only opened two so far. One of them really is not that exciting, in my opinion. Um, but Gemstone Caverns is quite nice, uh, so happy to have that. Oh, excuse me. This was our rare. Pardon me. Uh, boom and bust. Uh, and then Stone, <laughs> stone Horde Dignitary uh, with a foil lymph sliver. Uh, I do like the slivers. It's fun to get foils of those. Alex saying that panharmonicon looking fire. Absolutely it is. <clears throat> Logic Knot I love. Very, very good. Uh, man. Such a just reminiscent set. So many cool cards that I've been looking through for this. Sliver. Ooh, Miri the Cursed. Very, very cool. I believe this is a brand new artwork for her. Uh, absolutely love that. And a time of need. Very nice. Uh, oh, -ho! and a foil time-shifted remand. Look at that. Guys, the value is just flowing today. Uh, man, love that. Kiwi popping in saying, oh, yo. Yeah, dude. Uh, such a great pack. That was fantastic. Uh, Mary the Curse was also a deck that I had uh, a long, long time ago. Very, very fun deck, <clears throat> in my opinion. Uh, Return to Dust. Living End is our third mythic of the box. I'm actually not too upset about picking up Living End. Obviously, if you've not played with it, it's an interesting deck, uh, but a very, very cool card. And then a Shriek Maw in that time-shifted frame. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, all right. Let's see what we can get in the rest of the box. You know what? Let's, because we're, we, we've kind of been through the packs at this point, so I'm not too worried about uh, saving time anymore. Nether Trader. Uh, and then a Contagion Clasp. And did we drop? I hope we did not drop. Let me double check before we jump. Uh, I know this has been an issue, guys. I do apologize. Hopefully it's not too bad. <coughs> All right. You don't think so? Okay, good. Alex, just keep me posted if you would. I know you said you would. I just want to be safe. Uh, didn't it, it froze on my end, so I just wanted to make sure it wasn't frozen for everybody else. All right. Let's jump through Urza's Factory. Not bad. Timebender, Stone, uh, ooh, Siege Sliver, and Vanquisher's Banner. Look at that. Very, very good. Uh, not bad at all, guys. All right. Go through these last packs fairly quickly. We do have a foil here, which is nice. Uh, draw, draw new. Uh, hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, look at that. Atali Primal Storm. Such a cool one. And then Pallid Microderm. Uh, is our foil. Not a bad box. Not a bad box, guys. I was kind of hoping for some better mythics. We didn't get terrible ones by any means, but uh, definitely not, you know, the the chase cards either. Nice banner, says Quirkspine. Absolutely. Magus of the Future, a uh, Thraben Inspector. Whoa, and a foil Walk the Aeons. Look at that. Uh, wow, guys, we are really hitting some good stuff at this one. Uh, the Atali, geez, yeah, Kiwi. Quirkspine, how are you doing today, buddy? I hope you're doing well. It is uh, a pleasure to see you here, as always. We've got Cloud Key. We've got Sram. Not a bad pickup. I actually really like getting Sram. And then a Foil Terramorphic Expanse. Not a very exciting foil. Uh, my D&D game is a homebrew setting that's been evolved and impacted by about 13 campaigns over the years. Holy crap. Currently, as a typical, we want to be heroes. Uh, hold on one second while I finish this pack. 
We've got a Fungus Sliver. Very, very good. Uh, and a Beast Whisper. Very cool, actually. I like Beast Whisper. Um, and are a big end-of-the-year tournament. We are about six sessions into this campaign. Currently finished the first round <coughs> of a local tourney where they raced atop giant tortoises. Wow. Uh, well, that's really cool. Um, I really like that, actually. That's fun. Uh, whoops. Safi, uh, Eric's daughter. That's an interesting name. Uh, Ram Ramanov Ruins. That's actually kind of cool. I like the land look. Um, Beast Whisper Old Frame is dope. Absolutely. You need that cloud key. Do you really? <clears throat> All right. We have got just a handful of packs left in box one, guys. And then, of course, like I said, we will be jumping into box two. We got Summoners Pact. And we got another Time Shifted Remand. This time, not Foil, but not... Not bad still. Uh, obviously, Remand is one of my favorite cards, being that I'm a blue player. So I'm very happy to see that. Uh, Sister, I believe. Is it? I did not know. Um, all right. Got this. Uh, Jaya Ballard. I love this art. I think it's just a really bad A kind of art. So I'm very happy to pull that. And then Mirror Entity, uh, which is pretty good. And I assume Commander. <clears throat> um, three packs left, guys. Three packs left. Still hoping for one more Mythic. If we can get lucky and pick up one more, that'd be great. If not, that's okay. Lotus Bloom is our rare with a Sigil of the Empty Throne as our uh, Time Shifted card. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. All right. Two packs left. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, really liking these just oh, amazing cards. All right. Well, Akroba's Memorial is our pickup. Not a bad one. Uh, not amazing either. I mean, it's a very powerful card, don't get me wrong, but it's obviously, uh, not the highest of highs in this, uh, set. Harvester of Souls is our time-shifted card. <clears throat> Out of time-shifted cards, which are you digging so far? Personally, Thoughtseize, I think, looks the coolest. Uh, I would love... Hey, Scott, what's up? I would love to pick up a true name nemesis. Uh, that's one that's kind of up on my list. Ooh, Stuffy Doll, look at that. And an Arch of Erazka with a foil primal plasma. All right, guys, that is the end of box number one, but we got a whole other box to go. Uh, so let's get that one out of there. Let's pick up this one here, and I am gonna get this one open. We're gonna keep everything kind of together uh, as we go through this, just to see what the final result is. Scott, how are you doing? Uh, what new cards? Yes, please. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, this one should go a bit quicker, guys. We're going to try and get through these relatively quickly. Uh, and let's see. Glittering Wish is our first year. <laughs> oh, Ask and You Shall Receive. We got True Name Nemesis, guys. Uh, well, I'm very happy to see that. And then Veiling Oddity. Uh, that kind of worked out. Uh, doing well. Uh, you're at work, actually, Scott. Ah, well, don't get in trouble at work, but I do appreciate you being here. Wow, great start to the box already. Mangara, another one. Uh, and Liliana's Triumph. And then another foil, Reflex Sliver. Not bad. Not bad at all. Anytime you get a foil sliver, you gotta be feeling okay. Uh, it may not be the best card in the world, but it's usually not terrible either. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, another Jaya. And uh, Intangible Virtue. Not amazing. Uh, not super exciting in my opinion, but not terrible either. All right, let's go, let's go. Uh, we got an Aeon Chronicler. And a Teamer Battle Rage, which I'm actually very happy to pick up for a Death Shadow deck. That's very good. Uh, slivers are just outrageously popular in Commander because everyone loves Tribal. You are correct. And Slivers are very good. I mean, without a doubt. Um, they can do some crazy stuff. Damnation is our first Mythic of the box. Not a bad one to pick up at all. Uh, and then a Thragtus time shifted. Also a pretty decent pickup, I think. Uh, very happy with that. I think what I'm going to do is end up replacing a lot of the cards <clears throat> in my uh, cube, which is very, it's pretty close to a legacy cube. It'd be great to be able to swap some out for these older arts. Uh, Slimefoot. <laughs> Look at that. I gotta love Slimefoot. Uh, Damnation is sweet. Yeah, 100% Alex. I love, love, love Damnation. Uh, Alright, getting through all these commons and uncommons. We don't need too many of them. Fungus Sliver. A Bajuka Bog. Not a bad pickup, actually. As far as lands go, I really like Bajuka Bog. And a Foil Aeon Chronicler. That's our third one out of two boxes. First Foil one, but that's pretty good. Um, Alright, so. 
Mythics. What mythics do we want? I actually don't know the mythics in this set very well. I mostly looked at the time shifted cards, I'll be honest. Lotus Bloom here. We've got Crystal Shard. Kind of cool. And then Kavu Primark. Uh, Omega, what is up, man? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. We are getting our way into box number two here. We have picked up some really good stuff so far. We're going to recap some of that at the very, very end, and then we will call it a stream. Uh, we do have some gameplay planned for next week, <clears throat> so do stay tuned for that. I know we didn't do much this week, but that's okay. Monastery Swiss Beer, look at that. Jimbo, what are people's thoughts on the set? Is it worth getting? Jimbo, that is a great question because it's very... I, I'm not going to ever give financial advice. I don't think that's a safe idea for, for us to do. Flagstones of Trocair and Grey Merchant. Look at that, Gary. Uh, but I think there are definitely cards that can make it worth it, as there always are. Um, and I would say these time-shifted cards are very, very good. Um, Omega, you're always here. I love it. <laughs> uh, Heartwood Storyteller. Kasali Pride, mate. Not bad. Yeah, that Grey Merch is good. Ooh, and a Foil Mythic Gauntlet of Power. Look at that. What a great pack. Damnation is so good. Really love that card. It brings me back to when I was a paper player. Omega. Absolutely love it. Uh, I've actually... So I just put together Modern Jund, and I'm looking for sideboard cards for it. Kind of thinking a Damnation in there, just as a one of might not be a bad idea. Slaughter Pact and a Treasure Cruise. Very, very good. Um... This is not financial advice, but in my opinion, you should always weigh how much you want and if you can use the card before getting it. I think that's a very safe way of looking at it. Um, I agree. I, I'm a collector more than anything. Megas of the Moon, Cranial Plating, and a Foil to it. It's Sliver. Uh, so for me, I'm a bit of a collector, and I have other ways to like benefit by making streams, by making videos off of opening a box. So it's a little bit easier for me to justify spending money on uh, cards. That being said, that's not true for everybody. So it's a uh, evolutionary leap. Very cool. It's very important for you to weigh the uh, the positives to the negatives and see if it's worth it for you. Um, if there are a lot of cards that you plan to use in the set, then I think it's generally okay to do it. But um, uh, for me, getting a card is a uh, use value. Depends on what you value. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so for me, I think there's a lot of value out of it. I think for everybody, that's not necessarily the case. Vesuvian Shapeshifter... Feather the Redeemed. Look at that. That's very cool. And an assembly worker. Um, so I think you do have to, to vary that. Uh, are there any sets you would consider comparable? Uh, that's a great question. Um, it's tough to say because this is such a unique set. Hive set uh, and Lab Maniac. I love that. Uh, this is a very unique set, Jimbo, and in, in that this is the first time they are doing a, a curated list from a previous set. And Time Spiral Remastered made a lot of sense for them because they could do the time-shifted stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Lab Man's good. Pact of Negation, Lava Spike, pretty happy for that, and Wipe Away. Uh, and so it's hard to compare this set in particular with other sets. You know, if it was like a Modern Masters set, then you can compare it to a different Modern Masters. You can compare it to like Iconic Masters, Eternal Masters. There's stuff that's similar, whereas this is not really a similar set to anything that we have seen in paper as of this yet. Uh, Sarah Avenger and Hedron Archive. Very good. Um, so I would venture to say this is a, t a difficult one to compare to something else, especially with the price point being around 200 It's it's a little bit trickier. Uh, it's a very good set in my opinion. Um, oh, Solemn. Look at that. Sad Robots here. It's a very good set in my opinion. Um, and I think the draft environment is very well built. Will it be good? I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know, but I'd know Time Spiral was very fun. Restore Balance is a second myth, or excuse me, third mythic of the box. Uh, very happy with that. Grenzo is here, and a Cutthroat Ill Doll. Um, so this is just a very different experience all around. It's kind of difficult to, uh, to say. Um, it's a very good set, in my opinion, but take my opinion as you will. It's up to you, really. Uh, ooh, Sanguine Bond. That's a very good pickup in that, that time-shifted frame. Um, very happy to see that. All right. We are getting there, guys. We are definitely over halfway through, <clears throat> kind of powering through this one. Ooh, Sliver Legion. There we go. Look at that. That might have been the, the mythic I really wanted to pull, I think. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, and a Flicker Wisp. That was a pretty good pack, honestly. Um, not too upset about that. All right, let's uh, let's go through here. 
What we got? Uh, oh, Extirpate. That's a pretty good one. Uh, and Ethereal Armor. Very cool for the Boggles deck. Uh, I think it's a blatantly better than the last time shifted set. Oh, yeah. That's simply because the game has matured by, like, a decade to a lot of times. So they know what people wanted could play. Amway Nostalgia. Um, the Pulmonic Sliver. Ooh, and a Muldrifter. Love that. Um, so they know what people wanted could play. Amway Nostalgia. Use and draft experience. Obviously, just my opinion. Alex, I think that's a fair assessment, though. Um, they obviously chose very, very, like very crucial and not crucial but they chose very well with their uh time shifted frames i think they did a good job overall uh sylvan scrying another one um and what that does is it lets every pack be a fun experience versus um letting you know you you kind of have to to comb through a lot of packs to get a good experience you still have a good experience almost every single time tomb stalker and like even a trigon predator obviously not the most amazing time-shifted card in the world. It's no Thoughtseize, it's no True Name, it's nothing super special. But seeing it in that old frame gives you that visual cue that, hey, this is a really fun set. You can get cool stuff in this pack, regardless of whether it's super high value or not. Uh, and I think that's very important. Cloud Shredder Sliver, very good. Uh, from what I've seen, I'd probably use uh, it to hopefully bring some prices down on singles. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think, crucially, if you're like, and I'm I'm just saying this as a general statement. I don't mean to call anybody out. Um, Pact of the Titan, very good. Anger of the Gods, pretty cool. Basalt Gargoyle. Uh, if you happen to be on a budget or anything like that, you should always go for the singles that you need, not, definitely not, uh, buy boxes. That is not the way to go. Just go for the singles you want. Uh, Vencer, Shaper Savant, Resto Angel, look at that. And a Blighted Woodland Foil, very cool. Um... So I would ar always say um, make sure that you get those singles before you do anything else. Got three out of four of the Game Night Commanders. Yeah, I did, actually. You're right. <laughs> um, can't wait to get my box. Turbo Scott says, I love it. I hope you get some great pulls, buddy. Uh, Urborg, Become Immense. Very, very cool. And Urborg, Siphon Mage. Last uh, six packs here. Haven't been here in a hot minute. It's me, Swanstorm. Swanstorm, welcome. Welcome. Oh, it's so good to see you again. I'm so happy you're here. I bought one box and I'm just holding on to it until I can draft it with my friends. I think that's a very good thing to do. If you're going to get a box and you do have a friend group that likes to draft, use it for draft. Uh, you get a little extra value out of it, which is great. Angel's Grace and, oh, old school Elvish Mystic. I love it. Um, praise enough. I think literally every time shifted card is powerful in some capacity in Commander. Alex, I think they did a great job of picking those time shifted cards to add value to the pack. Uh, even if it's not necessarily the most financially, you know, pushed card, it's still going to be a decent card. Uh, not in, eh, it's fine. And then Alicia. Uh, I love all the old, all the old borders coming back. They look so good. Yeah, absolutely. I miss the old borders. I've always been a fan of them. I think they're just really sweet. So it's kind of cool to see all them back. Uh, Safi or Safi. Ooh, hollow one. I really do like hollow one. I'm happy to see that. All right, guys, three packs left. Uh, we're, I guess we're at four Mythics so far in this box, one being Foil. So we're actually kind of hitting our quota here. Um, hopefully we can get one more, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, another Walk the Aeons, though. That's a very good pickup. And Palace Jailer. Uh, two more packs. Two more packs, guys. Thank you so much to everybody for being here. Thank you again to Grand Slam uh, for sponsoring. I really do appreciate it. It's been great. Ooh, Ancestral Vision, look at that. Uh, and Prized Amalgam, it's our last one. Uh, please say we didn't just crash. Oh, we did, didn't we? Uh, somebody let me know if we did. For me, it went down. Uh, we good, Alex says. All right, Germag Angler is the one that, uh, you're good, thank you guys. It crashed on my end, again, sorry, my network is just so fun. Swarmy Heart. Yogmoth Thran Physician. What a great way to finish off this box and a foil watcher sliver. Wow. All right. Let's recap really quickly because this this was pretty good. Uh, so in this second box, we got Damnation, a foil gauntlet of power, Restore Balance, which is fine, Sliver Legion, which is very good, and Ancestral Vision, which is also quite good. In the first one, we got Akroma's Memorial, Living End, Gemstone Caverns, and Wheel of Fate. Uh, Yogmoth, though. Yeah. Um, 
obviously a stack, a very large stack of these amazing time-shifted cards, just tons and tons of value here, including things like Thoughtseize, Yawgmoth, True Name Nemesis is in there, just some really, really good stuff. Uh, and then, of course, all of these amazing rares that are just super, super fun to look through and see these old cards. Teleria West, some awesome stuff. Guys, this has been great. I want to thank uh, especially Grand Slam uh, for supporting us and sponsoring this. It really is uh, helpful to have somebody on your side. And the fact that it's an LGS is great because we get to support locally, uh, which we really appreciate. So Josh, the whole team, thank you guys very, very much. Uh, to everybody who hung out with us throughout this box opening, I really appreciate it. I, I wish you the best of luck in your pulls if you go. If you pick up any boxes or just some packs, good luck to you. Uh, I really like this set. So I will be opening more of this later on. Whether it's on the channel or not, we will see. But guys, thank you so much. Make sure you enter our Time Spiral Remastered giveaway, as well as hang out with us tomorrow at 1 p.m. for our card hunt for Vorinclex. we got some really cool stuff coming. So guys, until then, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.